Hi everyone. Most things in Aonang happen along one heavy stretch of road. It's not on the same street, but you can pretty much just follow this route and you will find all of the main things like from post office, from all of the markets, up to nightlife spots and whatnot. I hope that this video will give you a feel about what it is like to be here. I cannot really convey how hot it is. Today is not a particular hot day, probably some plus 28, but it's pretty humid. So it's quite nice to be on a scooter, but uh, it's not even the hot season yet. Uh, but besides the lack of temperature in the video, you should get a pretty good sense of the traffic, of architecture, of street life. Uh, yeah, so let's get moving. This is the Monday, Thursday, Friday night market. There is not much going on yet. Well, some stalls, but it gets really busy starting from about 4 p.m. This is what local transport looks like. This is called Songtev. You can usually read in English where it goes. The ride costs about 50 baht one way, which is about Euro 25 or $1.50. This is the Bank of Bank branch. Why well, it's important? Because you can get cash advance here. So you basically hand over your credit card and can withdraw as much money as you need on better terms than through an ATM. I have a blog post about how much you can save on my website. This place here with the glass window is one of the nicest massage saloons that we have experienced. Uh, there is also like a back room where more of the serious massages take place. Very nice, highly recommend. Two spots here. Uh, this is the start of the walking street that leads to Pipe Long Beach, which is a nice secluded beach where you have to do a little bit of a climb over a cliff. It's about, I would say, 500 meters or 600 yards long. Uh, yeah, lots of nice cafes on there. And this is also quite important. It's probably the main uh, long tail ticket booth in Aonang, uh, where you can get both to pretty much any lo location in Thailand and also as I understand some of the island tours start here. The famous Aonang swordfish, which you can check out also on Google Maps. Yeah, well it's big. Yeah. 
In Nao Nang there are several places that call themselves medical clinics. Most of them look quite nice from the outside. Uh, I have no experience on how it's to be a patient. But anyway, I would say if you need something relatively simple, should be a decent place. There should be decent places where to go without having to go to Prabhu. spot here this is the other main tailboat uh, ticket office and there is a small pier as well that goes to pretty much the same locations this is at the start of Noparat Tara beach yeah looks like this basically get off and on the boat there If you come to Anang with kids and don't have a decent pool in your hotel, you can go to this place and for 250 baht each you can get access to their pool, which is really nice because it has like slides, uh, several kiddie pools. This right here is a place that sort of pretends to be a market, but not really. If you have transport, I would recommend that you go to any of the three markets that are open during the week. This is more for tourists, I'd say. This right here is the far side of the Noparat Tara beach. It's well worth a visit. It's about, I'd say, two kilometers from the start of the Noparat Tara beach and by and about three and a half, four kilometers from Aonang beach and the walking street. But it has these small islands there that when it's low tide, you can access them by foot. And when it's high tide, then it's water there, but it's still very walkable, really nice walk. I wanted to show you what a typical Thai school looks like. Uh, they all seem to be built from the same blueprint. There's the school building right there. And then they usually have the sports field. That's, uh, there, there are definitely some soccer or football goals. And actually this seems to be a pretty big school because usually there is only this one building, but this school has two buildings. There are apparently classrooms upstairs. And then also as it's so hot, children hang out. Uh, below on the first floor but but apparently as local ties explain currently it's recess This is where the Wednesday
Wednesday food market takes place. As it's not Wednesday today, it's quite empty, but still there is some stuff going on. I haven't been to the Wednesday market myself yet. Uh, it should be a lot busier when it's on. And not too far from the Wednesday market is the Saturday market. In my opinion, I've visited the Saturday and the Monday, Thursday, Friday market. These are just two things. One of them is open three days a week. This was the nicest one. The Monday, Thursday, Friday one is uh, definitely larger. But here somehow you had the feeling of the more rural experience, more authenticity. Just to give a heads up to these guys, this is where I cut my hair recently. Did a decent job, nothing too special, but definitely very cool chairs. And you get a very nice back massage after you get your hair cut. No, not back massage, neck massage. It was a bit odd at first, but actually we should definitely introduce this in Europe as well. Okay, now I will be going up some pretty steep roads. This is not it yet, because uh, up here at the Lale Grill or something, and the Hilltop View restaurant, there are probably the nicest views of uh, Aonang's uh, town. And you can even go a little bit higher. There are two private houses where you can sort of sneak up to, and there the view, view is just breathtaking. So I'll try to take you up there. So this is the view from the Hilltop restaurant. There are tables there, there and here. So depending on the weather, if it's not raining, probably you should go down to the terrace. It's pretty good, but it actually gets nicer a little bit more up the hill. <laughs> Can okay. I? Can I go? Okay. okay. <laughs> is it is it is it dangerous with a scooter? No problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Faranga. <laughs> Okay, break from uh, driving the scooter here because I just had to show it to you and uh, you have to do a bit of climbing here. This is the view. It's awesome. There's like a little shrine up here. The 
it's just breathtaking. This seems to be like a private house. There are the sleeping quarters, there's a small terrace, as there is no one here and shooing me away, then I'll try to go up here. Because this is it, guys. Aonang at its best. Okay, how to run. <laughs> The road up was a bit scary for a scooter novice like me, but I still have to get down. Not sure if it looks as bad in the camera. No, it looks much less steep, but it's actually not 45 degrees, but it sure feels like it. <laughs> well, best of luck to me. Yes, I did it! Woo! <laughs> Thank you! Okay, this is it guys. I hope you liked my short tour about the most useful spot in Aonang from a scooter's perspective, so that it will be much faster than a walking tour. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos.